Hi and welcome to this new video tutorial. We're going to detect right now when an image is blurry or not using OpenCV with Python. Uh, let's take a look at two images that I have. So let me share first my screen. Uh, here we have the first image and here we have the second image. What's the difference between them? Okay, we can clearly say that the first one is okay and the second one is blurry. But if we would like to describe what does mean a blurry image? Well, from the theoretical point of view, we could say that a blurry image doesn't have a clear edges. So you can see here it's not really clear uh, between uh, where is the edge between my face and the wall while here it's really clear so we can say that an edge is a sharp change in intensity or color and here we have a really sharp change in intensity and color in this edge and then and this is to describe the blurry from like uh, from a visual point of view and now before going into the code let's quickly understand how it works from the point of view of the code so to do that i'm going to open both the images in uh, image editor so i'm going to use gimp uh, and here i have both of the images on gimp and i open them in a grayscale format as uh, regarding edge detection we are going to work with only one channel so we use a grayscale channel instead of the three channels for the color. Uh, so let's take, let's compare the edges between the first one not blurry and the second one blurry. Uh, to compare the edges, I just uh, take the instruments to detect the value of the color. So I open this one and I choose, for example, here the wall and I click right on the wall and we can see here the value of that pixel okay here we see three values because uh, GIMP for some reason is giving me three channels but we have only one channel so we will see always we, are, we have only just one value and it's 26 so the wall in this part is uh, 26 27 and then we go on my face and we see 96, 98, so from 26, it goes to 96. So there is a big variance, uh, high variance from, this, um, from these two values. So like 96 minus 26. Let's now try the same on the blurry image. Oh, this one actually is really, really blurry. So I go here and uh, more or less on the same region, I take the value of the pixel and we see 25, I go a bit 34, 42, 56. You can see that between the pixels there is a really small difference between the values between them. So there is not really a sharp change in intensity, so there is not a clear edge. So this is the explanation, how is the blurry detection. Uh, and actually in the code this is much simpler than the explanation so we're going to see how to do that with OpenCV uh, let's open a new file and then let me increase the size of the screen so we import we import CV2 we import numpy as np uh, then I'm going to load the first image. EMG is equal to C, um, CV2, imread, and I don't remember the name, I guess 0.jpg. And then uh, let's show this image. CV2.im show um, EMG, and then EMG, and then a wait key event to keep the image open. Wait key. 0 and I forgot cv2 cv2 dot wait key 0 and finally cv2 dot destroy all windows and I'm going to just run this one to see if everything is correct and this is the image okay 
So what we are going to do with this image, we are going to use an edge detection filter that we explained in some other video and this is the Laplacian. So let's apply the Laplacian. La Laplacian. And if you don't know what Laplacian is, uh, go and check in some of my video tutorial about uh, Laplacian and Sobel operators. Uh, I also did that one, so it will be more clear for you, to you. And then cv2.laplation on the EMG, and then cv2.cf dot cv two dot cv sixty four f in simple words the Laplacian is um, a filter and it works with kernel convolution method. What it means in simple words uh, here is the kernel of Laplacian. So we when we take each single pixel in the image and we multiply it with this 3 per 3 kernel and then the result that we get it is going to give us this image uh, cv 2im show and now we're going to show the Laplacian then Laplacian And of course, the Laplacian, uh, as the other filler op operators, must be used with only one channel. So in the color image, we have three channels, red, blue, and green. And we want only one, so I'm going to load the image in grayscale format. So instead of just cv2 im read, I'm going to say cv2. And here I'm going to add im read underscore grayscale. And now I can run again the script. And here the Laplacian is helping us to find the edges. It's not the best for this specific uh, image, but that's the purpose of the Laplacian. And this is the result of La Laplacian, but we don't need to see this. We only need to understand the variance between the intensity of, uh, of the edges. So instead of taking the full Laplacian, we then say dot var and we take only this this value and then we're going to just print this value print lap lesion var and i'm going to run again the script and we see that the lap lesion value here is 74.59 and so on so let's focus on this 74 is it high or low value 74? It depends. <laughs> it depends what's the threshold. So uh, let's take the, um, the other image, the blurry image. So the image two, uh, which was, okay, this one, the really blurry image, this was image zero and this image two. And let's run this one there is variance of three so this is the average variance between each uh, pixel so the uh, so this this means really low change really low variance it means really uh what to say not sharp edges so the lowest in this case the value the more blurry is the image uh, to give you an example i have another uh, image which is less blurry than the second one so it's if we compare okay i have three images this uh, zero the original then i have a bit blurry one and then i have are really blurry so not blurry so so really blurry so we check before photos 2 and photo 0 
so we got for this one value of 74 for this one uh, we didn't check this one for this one value of 3 and can you guess for this one so for this one we should get a value between 74 and 3 so if we check I guess uh, I don't know maybe 6 7 I, I, I also don't know as I didn't try this one uh, this one 4.93 almost 5 so we can say for example if if Laplacian var, var is less than 5 then we can say the image is blurry this one is less defined of course we see image is blurry and we try the image is zero that it's not blurry and in fact it doesn't say anything so this simple code actually is this uh, simple line it's all that we need and then we set a threshold to say it's blurry or not that's all and of course uh, this a uh, threshold of five can be okay for this uh, can be fine for these uh, two images that uh, I tried right now but it might depend on the images on the camera you use so you should find a good threshold for your set of images and this is not the only method that you can use uh, to find this, uh, if an image is blurry or not you could use like other methods for edge detection but the important is that you understand what's the core be behind this it's all i have for the moment see you in another video